Hey, Remy. Yeah, Charles here. I think I know what you're talking about. Yes, uh, and uh, Ni Nilo? I think Nilo is the proper pronunciation. He's, he's uh, s from Spain. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, he warned me about the shrinking find box. And I, I was like, I don't know. It doesn't shrink on me. <laughs> look, look, it stays all the same. same. Well, um, yeah, no. Uh, he was he was referring to this, right? I think I know what you're talking about, and I think I know how to, I might be able to find it. So let's fire it up and show you uh, what's happening in the Dark Monkey theme. And it, it does show, and it is there, but goodness gracious, uh, he's probably just got, like, oh, some small thing there uh, on his draw calls to have the infinitely shrinking thing, because I've I've got the build, you know, on my machine... So I can I can I can show you the be actual behavior in an unpreserved state, unpreserved as in how the bug applies. So, all right. So let's do that function right quick. All right. I of course this is I haven't imported the fonts and colors. Uh, you know what? While I'm here, I might as well well do this. Okay. Uh, yes, the pictures uh, that I had showed you for you know. Uh, this is the uh, fonts and color scheme that was sent with the conf.zip. Oh, God, stay on track, Charles. Get back to your valve. Okay, so <clears throat> back to what I was talking about, and then I'll go to the other part. Okay, uh, so, you know, you do the whole control F, and look, there is actually the find box there, but because he's got a miscalculation somewhere in his draw calls, it's the eternally shrinking box so that with every draw call that it makes, it just gets smaller and smaller until it winks out of existence after a few updates. So, yeah, I think I might be up, uh, able to isolate it, and it may have to do with uh, his not taking into account grid bag layout, because I'm pretty sure this is a grid bag layout, and uh, it would suffer from the same shrinkage that this does. So, we I, I isolate this problem. I'd be able to help Nilo out with his uh, awesome Nim Nimrod plug-in, and I would be able to help us out, obviously, by having the fix just ready for us. So, uh, okay, the other thing. Yes, uh, the conf.zip uh, conf file that I got a hold of. It's not absorbed uh, and and in the, the latest uh, build of Dark Monkey, right? Uh, it shrank down from 6 megs because I tossed the fonts. I tossed uh, a lot of the unnecessary... Well, the current version up there has has all this, but I'll toss all the uh, unnecessary versions that uh, were not wanted to reduce the file size again back down to a beta uh, size, and then I will go over to GitHub. I'll make the release, you know, do the post, you know, uh, do all that stuff. Um, okay, so yeah, when you come over here, if I were to propagate JME code theme across, which is the name that's in the the conf dot zip file that was sent, then, you know, this, the look and feel, and it would be propagated as JME code theme. And I was just wondering if you wanted me to keep it this name, or to go dark space monkey, you know, kind of like they do for, um, you know, Norway Today, City Lights, uh, like this. So, instead of JME code theme, it would show up as dark monkey, because this is the fonts and colors, and of course over here uh, is the dark monkey altogether look and feel you know, because they'd have the names associated for the people, but yeah, this this NetBeans module would have the fonts and colors and the look and feel combined into the theme. So I th I think that that might have been the uh, confuzzlement. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, so that should cover those two things, and I will catch you all later. And and of course, this won't go on the dev blog. You know, this just us. Uh,